really comes down to kind of how do we get out of our own ways? So what are some of the ways that you help people with that to be able to kind of, how do they overcome that? What are your principles? You know, a lot of small business owners are, unfortunately, they're self-employed. They're not really business owners. They basically created their own way to pay themselves instead of working for somebody else. It's a great way to start, but people do that for their entire careers and they can never take time off. They've got a lot of stress. They're trying to balance payroll and overhead costs. They've got turnover in their employees. So there's all these things because they're deeply rooted in the operational activities of their company. Instead of farming that out or actually paying other people at a much less rate than their value to be able to do those things for them. And I find that a lot of times people are really just scared to spend money. Maybe you're in a position in your business where you're not really making enough money to justify, you know, that's what they say, to hire somebody. But the reality is that if you hire the right people, they're going to bring you profit. They're going to create that return on your investment. And they're also going to free up some of your time. So Think about this. If you're still doing administrative work and you're the CEO, you're the highest compensated administrative assistant in the country, and you're probably not really good or enthusiastic about your job. So you're you're highly compensated and you're not really good at what you're doing. So would you keep yourself as an employee in that role? The answer is no, you wouldn't. So you need to be really aware of these things and start to figure out how do I fire myself? And that's just creating processes and systems and putting those in place, having the roles and responsibilities clearly defined for your each of your roles in your, your company. And then dishing those things off as you start to grow, because you're going to find that, hey, I'm, I'm spending way too many hours on this administrative stuff, 15 hours a week on that stuff. I can just get rid of that. Go hire somebody part time, a, a virtual assistant if you have to, if it's, a, if it's a budgetary issue, but get it off your plate have the processes and systems for those people to learn and how to operate those things. And you're going to find that you have a lot more free time and a lot more mental capacity to go be the visionary and start focusing on the company growth instead of trying to operate everything. Absolutely. I, I, I know that intimately well when we decided that I should become project manager for our clients and went, okay, um, I had a little team power.